Um, when we first discussed the concept of 14 days changing the C word, you instantly uh, gravitated and grabbed the word clarity. And I love that. And I'm really intrigued as to what your thought pattern is around how clarity can help people out there, not just people in business, but I think life in general, um, because we don't know who might see this content. It might be people in business, because of course we are in that world, but I think also to clarity for people, you know, dealing with this crisis, I think is a beautiful gift. So I'm really interested in your insight in that, Annette. Yeah. Um, thanks, Emma, and I love the concept that you've got, because I think that we need to get a much more, um, uh, clearer picture out there and working with clients yesterday um, they were in a panic mode now my, the way that I work through with them is I said you need some some clarity around the known knowns because they're working in the unknown unknowns mm. so what do we know at the moment what we know is that we're doing the very best that we can you know we have clarity on the fact that we do all need to do this shutdown and that we need to protect ourselves uh, hygienically and so forth. So, we, so we've got clarity around that. But what we don't have clarity around is when will it finish and what will it mean? Um, I also see part of it as being a opportunity. People are gonna work from home perhaps more than they have before. And people like me are going to get a little bit clearer around working with technology. And <laughs> I really appreciate it. Good segue there, Nat. Good segue. <laughs> uh, because um, but we, we, we've got to make sure that we're getting rid of the cloud and actually getting clearer about, do it, you know, I have sufficient food. Um, I am safe. I, um, I, we know where we're at. But focusing on what we know, not focusing on what we don't know. So focusing on the known knowns, not the known unknowns. Mm -hmm. We don't know when it will finish, but we know that it will. We've mm -hmm. got good signs coming on. And I think we need to get a bit clearer. We're gonna have greater clarity around the means that they are being sent out there. You know, um, last night, you, and you may have seen it, Doug and I were just like mucking around and- I loved it. Yeah. Well, we did that because all we saw was just negative. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've got no toilet paper. Um, you know, how am I going to feed my baby? Uh, well, you know, like, come on, let's lighten up. Mm -hmm. so let's get clear around the fact that we've got control of certain things, but there are things that we don't know right at the moment. Um, and we need to find opportunity because I actually believe there's going to be opportunity out of this. Mm -hmm. So do I in lots of different ways. And I'm not sure if you saw my video on the women's plate, but there I talked about a potential of changing the way that our school structure is. Yes, and that yes. is, I think that there's way too much teacher-centered teaching, but mm -hmm. more, more than anything, our society has changed rapidly. We've got busy mothers like you and, mm -hmm. and busy fathers that are working 24 seven almost. And then all of a sudden it stopped. You've got to find something for your children to do over a break. Those breaks are not working. And this is an opportunity for us to say, let's find a different way. We don't need six and four week breaks. Let's spread it out. Mm. And children like to go to school. Mm. They don't wanna, and, and the poor little things end up in another type of school while they're on holiday. So. We, we can really shape out stuff and get some clarity around what we really want and make some changes at a national level, a local level, and a personal level. Love that. I love that breaking down because I think some people are getting quite panicked about not only the uncertainty, but the uncontrollable, right? You know, we can, and I feel like this is my plight and the intention had be just to help a little bit. I can't and you yeah. can't solve it all. We don't know when we're gonna come out on the other side and the world and business will certainly look a lot different on the other side of that. Yeah. But for me, the ever optimist and someone who was born to serve, I love being able to pull on resources and just utilize our gifts in front of us. 
and and try and have that glimmer of hope and it, it's funny you say that Annette because one of my webinar calls yesterday beautiful lady um, mentioned you know there's families out there who don't necessarily have seven days together ever and now they're all <laughs> it's this really new concept of oh Christ on the bike, how do we deal with this so there's so much change um, that we need to get comfortable with it but I love your piece around the clarity around the uncertainty even though it might not feel like that yeah I think that's beautiful well, Mid midday they stop and applaud the medical staff and nurses, doctors, surgeons, you know, ambulance officers, they applaud at midday. Beautiful. At 6 p.m., there's music on the balconies and they all come together and reflect community, you know, collaboration, spirit, kindness, compassion. They're the things that I'm choosing to invest in and yep. duplicate, not this fear and hysteria. That's personally how I'm being the light. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah. I would like to see us applauding our um, supermarkets and our shops because they're doing the very best they can. And I think they've done some extraordinary work, really. Mm. Um, you know, uh, we also have, um, th there's, there's just so many, so many changes, so many effects. Mm. And I guess one of my big words, because I would use the R words more than the C at the moment, mm -hmm. and that is respect, responsibility and resilience. Love. And, you know, respect is up there as number one for me because we need to respect that the word of the government um, who are doing their, you know, absolutely be the best. We need to respect you as my mate who's standing near me in the supermarket mm. instead of rallying, you know, dropping you to the ground to grab that piece of pasta. Um, and we need to actually respect our own environment mm. and that being, you know, so I've had to cancel... Um, certain events in my building um, and that's part of respecting my clients that come regularly mm, and, I'm re and I'm respecting what I need to do for them yeah. um, and myself at the same time and at the same time I'm building resilience and taking responsibility for myself and all of those things for me fit, still fit within clarity, getting clarity around those. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Annette. I fear that you and I could go on for hours. <laughs> we are definitely hey. cut from the same cloth, which I love. Um, but thank you for your insight today. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I do truly believe that something will resonate with somebody out there in regards to clarity and how they can have that for themselves, their life and their business. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for your precious time, Annette. And thank you so much for what you're doing, Emma. Keep up the great work. Thank you, darling. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.